Dear students, welcome to the online class. I am Dr. S.S.C. Hiraman. In this video, you are going to study about the Gibbs Graham's equation that is derivation and its application. Now, for open system or open system, we know we know that is G that is gives free energy is the function of temperature, pressure and number of moles of components 1, 2, up to Ni in this way. Thus, the gives free energy is the function of temperature, pressure and the number of moles of the various components. So, this is equation 1. On differentiation this with respect to there is partial differentiation on partial differentiation on partial differentiation differentiation we get dg is equal to do g divided by do t at constant pressure then 1, then 2, etc. and this is dt plus do g divided by do p at a constant temperature n1, n2, up to n9 and dp plus differentiation with respect to components that is do g divided by do n1 at a constant temperature, pressure, n2, n3 and so on this is d n1 okay then similarly differentiation of g with respect to another component n2 okay then temperature pressure n1 n3 and so on this is d n2 and so on we get differentiation of this g with respect to d n i that is i th component at the constant temperature pressure n1 n2 etc that is d n i d n i okay now at constant temp temperature and pressure at constant temperature and pressure temperature dt is zero at constant pressure pressure dp is equal to zero okay now let us number this equation as two and by substitution of these by the chemical potential symbol that is mu by substituting by substituting substituting the partial molar differentiations partial molar free energies energies by mu mu we get we get that is dg dg at constant temperature and pressure okay then when temperature is constant this term disappears when pressure is constant this term disappears now you substitute do g divided by do n1 as mu1 and d n1 and next one that is mu 2 d n 2 and so on d that is mu i that is chemical potential of i component into d n i okay suppose this is equation 3 equation 3 is one form of gibbs Graham equation that is equation 3 is one form of 
Git Duyem Git Duyem Equation Equation Okay Then Next thing is about The other form of the Git Duyem Equations Other forms of the Git Duyem Equations Can be derived From this Suppose D G is the total free energy, total total free energy at constant temperature and pressure, which is equal to chemical potential of number component one into number of moles of component one plus chemical potential of component two and number of moles of component 2 so on up to mu i that is n i n i ok thus the total free energy at tem constant temperature and pressure equal to sum of the attributions of the free energy free energy due to the various components ok on this is d D at constant temperature, at constant temperature and pressure. Now, on differentiation of this, dg, dg at constant temperature and pressure equal to, you differentiate these two, that is, q keep mu1 constant and differentiate n1, plus n1 constant differentiate mu1, okay, this is differentiated plus m2 constant differentiate dn2 and n2 constant differentiate d mu2 ok in that way go on we can get that is mu i constant differentiate of n i plus plus this is equal to plus n i differentiation of mu i mu i ok just with the differentiation of this total free energy is equal to sum of the free energy contribution of the each components then from equation 2 and 3 this can be rearranged in this way suppose this is equal to mu 1 d n 1 plus mu2 dn2 so on mu i dni this is 1 ok plus this is one part means this this and this are taken and another part second one that is n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 Okay, plus so on n i d mu i n i d mu i. Okay, totally is divided into two parts. Now, from suppose this is equation four, equation four, or it is better to use equation five. Okay, and this is equation four, so equation four. Now, from equation 3 and 5, from equation 3 and 5, 3 and 5, here dg at constant temperature and pressure, dg at constant temperature and pressure, okay, that is dg at constant temperature and pressure. Now, this mu1 dn1, mu2 dn2, mu i d n i ok this part this part this is equal to this part then definitely remaining part is equal to 0 if you subtract this from this you are going to get or we may subtract that is equation um, 5 or equation 5 minus equation 3 
what do we get? If you subtract this from this equation, you are going to get that is uh, n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 and so on n i d mu i is equal to 0 because left hand side is equal to only this according to this equation thus the remaining part is only that is 0 thus equation no, let us use this equation as equation 6 equation 6 is also one form of the Gibbs Williams equation equation 6 is also one form of Gibbs Williams totally equation 3 4 and 6 are the different forms of Gibbs Duham equation that is D G at constant temperature and pressure that is equal to mu 1 D n 1 plus mu 2 D n 2 and so on plus mu i D n i mu i D n i Okay, this is nothing but the summation of mu i d n i. This is equation 3. Equation 3 as already written with this. And another one is that is gives to energy just constant temperature and pressure is n1 mu1 plus n2 mu2 and so on n i mu i. This is equal to summation of n i mu i. This is equation 4. Equation 4. Another form is that is 0 equal to n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 so on n i d mu i. Okay. This is nothing but the summation of n i d mu i this is equation 6 equation 4 5 and 6 are equations equations 3 4 and and 6 are are different forms of are different Forms of forms of Gibbs Gibbs Williams equations Gibbs Williams equations.